Hello everyone, it's tutorial time again and this week we're looking at Act 2, Scene 2 which is the immediate aftermath of the murder of Duncan. So if you haven't read it, I suggest you pause straight away and go and read it through because what I talk about will assume that you've got a basic understanding of what happens in the scene and the language that's used. So let's get straight into it and let's have a think about what happens in the scene. So the scene begins with Lady Macbeth waiting for Macbeth to return from killing Duncan and she's thinking about what must be happening off stage with Macbeth and she's wondering what's taking Macbeth so long. Very soon into the scene Macbeth comes back and it's clear that he is deeply troubled by what has happened um, and he tells Lady Macbeth a little bit about what he experienced during the murder and the first thing he says is that the guards seemed to wake up while he was killing Duncan and they said a prayer but Macbeth couldn't say Amen and he knows that this is very significant um, but doesn't really understand why. Another thing that happened is that Macbeth heard a voice as he murdered Duncan and that voice seemed to say that he wouldn't sleep again and Lady Macbeth insists that Macbeth is being foolish and tells him not to think about it but Macbeth can't switch off from this, he needs to talk and carries on regardless. Lady Macbeth then tells Macbeth to wash his hands and as she does this she discovers that he has brought the daggers with him from Duncan's chamber and she tells him that he needs to go and take them back. Now he refuses to go back because he doesn't want to look at Duncan's body again and so Lady Macbeth goes in his place to plant the daggers on the guards and she says that um, she's going to use some of Duncan's blood to smear the guards with blood to make them look more guilty. Now when she comes back they both now have blood on their hands and together they start washing the blood off and as they're doing that they hear knocking at the gate of the castle and this knocking goes on and on and on and Macbeth is lost in thought. Lady Macbeth sort of takes over and tells him what to do to get to bed and the scene ends with them hurrying off to bed so that no one catches them awake at the time of Duncan's murder. Right at the end of the scene, Macbeth tells us how regretful he is about his actions and he wishes that Duncan was still alive. Now you'd think that a murder scene would be really exciting to have included in the play but we don't actually see the murder of Duncan, it happens off stage. And that raises the question, why don't we see the murder? And so I just want to talk briefly about why Shakespeare chooses not to have the murder happen on stage. Now it's a mistake to think that it's because the audience would be shocked by the gore and horror. There are lots of other Shakespeare plays where people commit suicide or are murdered on stage, so there must be something else going on. The Jacobean audience at the time was actually very familiar with violence. Um, often there would be public tortures and executions in town squares and people would gather to watch this almost as entertainment. And very recently to this play being performed for the first time, Guy Fawkes was publicly hung, drawn and quartered. And that means he was hung by the neck, not so that he would die, but just so that he would almost suffocate. Then he was stretched on a rack and then he had his internal organs and bowels removed while he was still alive and this was done publicly with a huge audience. So Shakespeare doesn't leave the murder out because the audience can't cope with it, they're very familiar with this sort of horror. What actually um, is motivating Shakespeare's decision is that King James I would have been in that original audience and regicide, the murder of the king, was the worst possible crime. It was murder of God's appointed representative on earth and the king was second only to God himself and so the idea that you would show that on stage was a step too far, particularly if the current king was sitting in the audience watching. 
We also have to bear in mind that the play was first performed in August 1606 and this is just nine months after the gunpowder plot so an attempt on the life of the king was very very firmly fixed in the minds of the audience and so it would touch too much of a nerve to show a king being murdered on stage so soon after this actually almost happened in reality and so the reason we don't see the murder of Duncan is because of the sensitivity at the time about plots to kill the king it just wouldn't be appropriate so here's your first response task. I want you to summarise what you've just heard in one paragraph and answer the question, why does Shakespeare not show the murder of Duncan on stage? And this is a good opportunity to draw in some context and make some links with the context of the play um, in your response. I've had lots of requests to break these videos up into smaller chunks so um, I'm going to pause here and we'll consider this the end of part one and um, you'll need to watch part two to get the remainder of the response tasks and the analysis of the rest of the scene.